Hello and welcome to the PC Mission and Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. We're episode 11 of the How to Make Money blogging series. Today we're going to make a quick post. I'm going to show you the rundown of how to write your own blog posts. Of course, first thing you need to do is open up your XAMPP control panel and start the Apache MySQL server. As one of my uh, users actually commented, you can start the install these as services. Just check these two boxes off and they'll actually start when you boot up your computer so you don't have to start it manually every time. Personally, I don't like it always running in the background, so I like to start it only when I need it. So let's go back to our browser and let's go to our website, http colon slash slash localhost slash myspace first space blog. Press enter. So once our page is up, let's just go to the bottom right hand corner again where it says meta and click site admin. And then of course log in if you haven't logged in already. Go to posts. We're going to drop down the post section here and we're going to click add new post. So now for your title, remember we were talking about you need to use very descriptive words. You can't just use two word titles. These titles need to be very clear about what you're going to write about. So let's say how to make a search engine friendly first blog post. So as you can see, this title is extremely descriptive and there's a lot of different things people could type in. How to search engine, how to make friendly blog, how to make blog post, how to make a search engine friendly post, a search engine post. I mean, there's just a lot of different variations that can be used to find the same uh, blog post. So that's very important that you actually use a good titling system. So the rest of this is pretty much just like a word editor. Now this is a kitchen sink. So this, this little button here is called your kitchen sink. It allows you to open up additional settings that you might want to use. Paste is plain text, paste from words and things like that. But these are the most commonly used ones. You have your bold and your, uh, your bulleting systems. So let me just say, this is how to make a search engine friendly first blog post. And let me make an itemized list. First, make sure your title is awesome and descriptive. Second, make sure you put at least 300 to 350 words in each blog post. Okay, so now I'm just going to highlight these and I'm going to do a numbered list here. So that way I got a numbered list. And then let me go ahead and insert a picture. I'm not going to make a full in-depth one here, but here, just add an image. It's very cool how this works. Blog, uh, WordPress takes care of just about everything from you. It's for you. So I'll just select a file that I want to use. I'll just use my make money blogging template picture. And that'll of course upload it for me and this comes up automatically. Now for the title, it, this is the name of my picture and you obviously want to be very descriptive because remember Google only sees titles and they only see alternate text. So picture photo of make money blogging template. So make sure you put in your alternate text. It's very important. Caption, this is if you want to put text, be uh, text below the picture. This is a caption for my photo. And description, you can have even more detailed information on the photo. And then of course, we'll align it center. Sure, why not? And it'll auto resize it for you if you'd like to. You can do a thumbnail, which will actually, when they click on it, open the full picture, which is pretty sweet. Or you can just do full size. Let's just do full size and click insert into post. So this actually adds the photo right into my post. If I scroll down, you can see it has my tag. This is a caption for my photo. And that's pretty much as simple as that. That's all you need to know about actually creating the post and the text. On the right hand side here, you have a couple options. You can obviously uh, choose whether the visibility is password protected or private. Um, you can also uh, change the status from draft into uh, pending review. That's for working with other writers that might be on your blog. And on the below this published immediately, really the most useful one, you can actually write all your blog posts in advance and then just schedule them to automatically publish themselves. I'm going to leave it on publish immediately, but that's a re really good thing that, uh, that you can use down the line if you just want to hammer out all your posts in one afternoon and then have it automatically publish them. Categories are obviously one of the most important things as well because they need to be very descriptive, just like your titles, but they have to encompass a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of different uh, posts. So it's, I mean, it's a category of posts. So I, I made the category search engine tips. All you need to do is add a title here. I'm sorry. Uh, click add new category, type in a new category and add a new one. And uh, let me scroll down to after I've added that category. I did search engine tips because it's how to make a search engine friendly first post. So it's related to the category. So let's scroll down here to post tags and we'll say how to uh, search engine friendly post. Oh, no, let's do search engine friendly. 
You remember, these keyword tags are things people might type in. Um, first uh, blog post, don't necessarily have to say first is important, and use your own discretion on this. So I'll click add, and uh, that'll add my tags. So that's pretty much all there is to making your own blog post. So let's go ahead and click publish in the upper right hand corner, and it's going to automatically publish it for us, and we can click view post on the left hand side. This will load the very first post that I've made. It says, how to make a search engine friendly first blog post, of course, is the title. This is how to make one, first and second rule, and the image that I open. Now, they can even select the image and it'll open up as a separate image on a full screen. So if you did a thumbnail, it'll do that. And here's my caption. That's all there is to this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to do a basic blog post. There's a lot more you can do with the blog posts, categorizing and things like that. And I'll go into more detail on that, probably in a WordPress series. But the idea is you got to get some content turned out. And before you can submit your application to AdSense to actually be approved, you want to make sure you have at least, I want to say 100 posts. I know it seems like intimidating, but you just got to start building up the content and sharing it with people and getting people to start coming to your site before you decide you're going to start making money with it. So that's all there is to it. As always, if you go to my website and go to www.pcmichiana.com slash forum, you can actually ask any questions you might have related to this series. On the right-hand side where it says log out and profile for mine, there'll be a register button. And then once you've registered and logged in, I suggest posting them at the technical support forum. I'll take, talk to you guys later. As always, stay tuned. There's more coming, and uh, hopefully it won't be too intimidating.